What's up guys? Coming at you with fourth PSA reveal in four days. Pretty wild. Pretty wild indeed. I uh, just tagged everybody. That's in uh, this order. We have, let me see. We have Nick, Will, Sebastian, Tim, and then we have a courtesy tag for my boy Ken who gets upset. Devs30 when I don't tag him in a live reveal video or just, there he is. What's going on, my man? I didn't even start waiting for you. Uh, so, just picked up the order. I, once again, did not separate the cards for the simple fact that uh, I just want to get this done with. I didn't want to keep you guys waiting. Uh, we did have one order that popped in grades today. Um, that's only Chad... Not Chad, I'm sorry. Joey's order. Um, his order has grades. I got to print them out and do that for him. And uh, I think I had another six uh, orders that got accepted. So tonight I will check once again to see where everybody's order is at, what level, and take it from there. But they're showing tremendous, tremendous movement. Uh, I did receive, just like a lot of you guys received from a PSA president, um, their plan to moving forward. What's going on, dude? Um, what's going on, Chad? I mean, Chad. Why do I keep calling you Chad? Joey. Jesus Christ. Um, I did receive a letter. They are hiring more people at PSA. They've been making a lot of changes. Oh, yeah. They've been making a lot of changes, and um, yeah, they plan on being pretty quick. What's going on, Cbes? Uh, they plan on getting these orders done in time moving forward. Uh, big, big advantage with us in this group is dropping them off in Jersey. Uh, they basically get opened up first, so they get registered on their account first rather than when I was mailing them out I noticed that we've had orders that took like three or four weeks to actually post on their website which was annoying um, but the orders I dropped off last week they're already on the site so kudos to that uh, I will be dropping everything off moving forward unless you know this whole pandemic thing gets crazy and they shut down again which California is getting bad once again so fingers crossed another thing PSA has been doing which I've been noticing and it's a little weird um, I've been getting emails late late at night wondering like why am I getting like PSA is closed right now why am I getting these emails they actually have different crews so they're working around the clock working around the clock so uh, I do have faith that they will start bettering their time so at least they're doing something about it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Got to throw that in there. And uh, we're going to start rolling. Got a couple of people in here already. And uh, I want to get into this order. This is going to be a fun, easy order to do. Uh, Nick is in this order. And I think he's sent like 50... Fernando Tatis cards and like 50 Soto cards. So that should be pretty quick. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of different cards. Uh, everything that I've revealed the last few days, they have been shipped, dropped off. You guys should be getting them soon. I'm a little beat up today, I'm not going to lie. So uh, anybody who's in this order, I'm going to separate them after the video. And then tomorrow I'm going to wake up early. I will wake up. I will stock everything up into the boxes and I will get them shipped out tomorrow. So I also want to go upstairs and work on a few orders. I have a lot, I mean a lot of cards that just came in that people want graded. So I want to knock those out as well. So we only got six boxes of these. Uh, should be reasonably quick. And I love how they're not taping up each box. It's and done they're not even taping up the top 
which is fun. That takes forever. It's a pain in the ass. So, let's get started. Oh, dude. You know what? Even if your order shows no movement, I'm just going to say level 4 of 8. Just, you know, like that I don't keep losing money. <laughs> anyway, let me get the mic right over here. Beautiful. And let's start. So we got Ronald Acuna Jr. Bat in blue jersey. Nine. This one got a ten. We got the no number Vlad Guerrero. Ten. Very nice right here. Vlad Guerrero Jr. X-Fractor. Ten. And that's from uh, 2019 Topps Chrome. Love the look of these. <sighs> Tops Chrome, man, I swear. Their value is not crazy high compared to like Bowman and just regular Tops Update. But I just love Chrome. Maybe it's because it reminds me of like my childhood. I busted so much like Tops Chrome basketball, Tops Chrome football, even baseball. And it just. Um, it's said that Tops only does like wrestling and, and baseball nowadays. So that's probably why I just love Tops Chrome. Moving on, Vladimir Guerrero Refractor, and that's a nine. Little Glaber Torres, pinstripe jersey nine. You're gonna see a lot of the same cards. That's you could thank Nick for that. Um pinstripe glaber eight. Got another one that's a 10. Same card, 9. Same card, 8. <laughs> I know, I'm just going to start doing that, Debs. 10. Matter of fact, your order is 8 of 8 right now. It's just we're waiting for PSA to ship them back out to us. <laughs> we got uh, another Glaber at a 9. Whoops. Got a nine on this one as well. Nine. Ten. And Joey, if you're still here right after this order, I'm going to print out um, the results for the order that just popped. Nine. Same card with a ten. Nine. Then you got the Fernando Tatis Jr. from 2019 Tops, and that's a 10. And then we have another one that's a 9. So that's, I believe that's all Nick's cards. He, I want to say he submitted like 90-something cards. And it was, even though it was 90-something cards, I think it all involved three different cards. So, pretty nuts. 619. This is one of six. So that first box was, I don't know, I chucked the box across the room and I'm not going to get up. So the first couple of boxes are all going to be the same card. So just bear with me. Got a 10 on the Acuna. 10 on the Acuna. 10 on the Acuna. 10 on the Acuna. 9 on the Acuna, 9 on the Acuna, 9 on the Acuna, 9 on the Acuna, <laughs> I wish Chris was watching this, 9 on the Acuna, another 9, we got an 8 on the Soto, a 9 on the Soto, we're getting there. A 9 on the Soto. The one that counts right here. Rainbow Foil gets a 10. Then we have another 10. This was on the regular base variation. Got a 9 Soto. 9 Soto. 10 Soto. 10 Soto. And... 10 Acuna. So really simple. I'm blowing through this order like crazy. The next order that's going to pop, once again, it's going to be... If 
everything goes as planned, it's going to be Joey's and myself. We're both in one order. Um, really good grades. I think it was... I mean, I sent Pokemon cards in there, like the old 99 version. So not counting those, I think we hit like 75% 10s. So that's absolutely bonkers. Really, really good job on, uh, on that order. So hopefully that luck continues. This order wasn't bad either, let me tell you. So then we got a 2019 Bowman's Best Luis Roberts. Robert, and that is a Refractor 10. Then we're going to have a Tatis 9, a 10, a 10. I feel my hockey cards will be the first in a long time on this YouTube. Oh, yeah. We got a 9. Yeah, the grades were just un unreal. I actually got to buy more ho hockey product. I'm dealing with... Uh, GTS. I haven't really been dealing with the other distributor, so it's been tough, but I guess I'll throw him a bone. I just got really mad at him at the last order. Uh, nine. We got a ten. I ordered uh, five cases of NASCAR Prime for somebody. He quoted me. I gave the okay. Well, I told the person that I ordered the, the cases for. They gave me the okay. Then he invoiced me, and it was like $40 more per case. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? And he was like, well, prices go up. You have to act like that. And I'm like, I don't I don't work like that. I'm sorry. So he got pretty nasty with me. I got nasty back to him. Um, you know, what are you going to do? Tatis 10. So I try not to give him as much business as we usually do. Um, another Tatis 9. Yeah, I should be able to get some. I'll just, you know what I'll do? I'll just place a big order through him. He has all the hockey, so that's great. I'll place a big hockey order with him, and then, like, the rest of the stuff I'll get through GTS. Ten on the Tatis. Then you got the Ronald Acuna, nine. Got a John Morant, and this is from Game Day Ticket from 2019 Contenders Draft Pick, and that's a nine. I'm going to put that here. I want to try to separate these cards so it's easier for me down the stretch. Saquon Barkley, Prestige, 9. Baker Mayfield from Playoffs, 2018, 9. Got a Peter Alonzo, and that is from 2019 Finest. Finest is another beautiful product. Um, basketball Finest was, oh God, it's up there. It's top 5. That's uh, a 10. Number one, though, I don't know if you guys remember, is Metal Universe. I've busted so much Metal Universe when I was a kid. 2018, Bowman, uh, Pete Alonzo, Prospect Chrome, 10. And then we have the Tops Chrome, and that's a 10. Luis Roberts, and that is Purple Refractor from Bowman Best. Number to 260, and that's a 9. Eloy Jimenez, 2019, Bowman Best, Purple Refractor, 10. I mean, from what I looked when I saw, I remember seeing those cards, because I'm a Devils fan, obviously, but I never really collected hockey. Um, I think you're going to do pretty well. Andrew Vaughn from Bowman's Best, Refractor, 10. I think you're going to do all right, dude. I wouldn't worry too much. And not only that, it's it's PC. Worst case, if you want to crack, we could crack it. Next box. We're almost done with this order. <laughs> we got three more boxes to go. This one and two more. So, I guess I'm not going to be with you guys that long. I told you, it's going to be a quick order thanks to uh, Nick and his three cards that he submitted 900 times. So, anyway, let's continue. So, you got Brendan Rogers from 2019 Tops Update. That's a 10, throwing. 
Very sweet card. I haven't seen this one. We've gotten a lot of these cards uh, submitted. And I don't think we've ever gotten this card submitted. Number to 76. 2019 Tops Update. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Throwing Independence Day. <clears throat> and that got a 8. Come on, focus. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, Remember to switch the cameras. Come on, you can do it. There you go. That's a cool card. That is pretty sweet. Then we got a missing card number once again, Vlad 10. Haven't gotten any of these either. This is the black variation from Topps Update Throwing 2019 9. That one's pretty cool, but I gotta say, this one this one is pretty awesome. I will be looking. <laughs> it needs to be put on camera duty. It definitely does. Um, definitely gonna be looking up these Independence Day variations. Very, very nice looking cards. Oh, look at that, we got another Racunia at nine. Acuna at 10. 10. 9. This is not even a fun order to show. 9. <laughs> when you have so many of the same cards. Missing card number 10. Oh, and here we got another variation. Blue Refractor. Vlad Guerrero Jr. from 2019. This one got a 10. So that's sweet. And that one is numbered 44 of 150. Dude, she just does 300 things at once. All I had this morning, before I keep going, all I had this morning was I had a doctor's appointment for the back specialist. That's all I had on the agenda today. And my appointment was at 12 o'clock. Yeah, it was at 12 o'clock. Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.24 p.m. Hope right. you've had a good Thursday. No, I had a shitty Thursday. And this is the time I got home today. So six hours. We did 300 things afterwards. Oh, my God. She she drives me nuts. I tell her, like, I, I want a divorce. Anyway, Juan Soto, 10. Juan Soto batting eight. Dude, we actually got pizza today. We went to my hometown of Bayonne. And they make great pizza. And uh, I took I took care of the pizza today. It's delicious. Nine on the Soto. I want to go to Connecticut to get pizza. Um, I've been watching Barstools. And those pizzerias, a pizza has been getting a lot of good reviews, so I definitely have to try that. And I love, love, love Thin Crust Pizza. Juan Soto, 9. Soto, 9. Soto, 9. Soto, 9. Don't know what happened to this one. Let's check this bad boy out. This one got a 5. Yeah, I mean, the guy from Barstools keeps saying that you guys are like the capital of pizza, which... I mean, Jersey has some pretty freaking awesome pizza. So. Oh, yeah. Pizza in Bayonne is freaking delicious, man. I've grown up on pizza. We're, we have one of the, like, we have a few good pizzerias. So let's check this out. See what's going on here. Why would it get a five? I don't see anything. It's very hard to see things through the slab. Um, yeah, I, I really can't tell. I really cannot tell. Centering looks about the same. <laughs> Completely baffled. Unless they typed the wrong number in there. Oh yeah, he gave him like nine point something. Pizza and bagels, and if you want something really good, then get a pizza bagel. 
2019 X-Fractor, Vlad Guerrero Jr. getting a 10. That's very nice as well. That one here. Two boxes left. Yeah, so the three places he went to. I want to go to that old-fashioned place where uh, they don't even accept credit cards. We used to have a place like that in Bayonne. Let me tell you, man, that place was called Naples Pizzeria. They just shut down. Oh, my God, that place was so awesome. Absolutely loved, loved that pizza. It was like paper-thin crust. I could eat literally two pies of that. So, this is Tim's. Pretty cool. He uh, collects wolf cards. Um, this one is... Hold on. If it likes to... There you go. 1916 C40 Animal Wolf. This got a three. So this is, uh, I'm guessing, I'm assuming this used to come out of cigarette packs. So really cool, just like the old baseball cards, but this is uh, animals. And uh, I've graded a good amount of wolf cards for Tim. This one's pretty sweet. There you go. I haven't put a, a wolf card on the best card submitted yet, so maybe we'll see a wolf card pop up eventually. Uh, 2018 Chronicles Luca 8. John Morant from Origins. That's a tough product to grade. This is the blue, and this got a 9. Luca from Chronicles gets a 9. Nice card. 2018 Chronicles. So much Chronicles. Luca Pink, 9. Another one of these fancy refractors from Topps Chrome. This is the Purple Refractor. K, uh, Kevin Biggio. And this gets a 10. Very sweet. Numbered 3 of 175. Peppies, that's the place. I think it was Peppies or Sally's. I'm not, I don't remember exactly which one they were talking about. But, I mean, just looking at the pizza, the paper thin. Oh, I love paper thin pizza. 2019 tops Eloy Jimenez gold, 10. Got the Carter Kia Boom refractor getting a 10. Very nice. Very nice. We have three cards that did not grade. But the good thing is they did not get charged. The reason why is because they did not recognize these cards in their system. So um, we did give them information. That's the good thing about having this information. Sometimes when uh, we submit, if you do get the VIP package, I do write them down. Um, all three cards. This one's from 1906. This one's from 1922. And this one's from 1934. Yeah, I think it was Sally's that he got the highest review. And then they have no specific information. So no grade, no charge. And these are the three cards. So I'll put that there and send them out. Got Brian Reynolds. And that is a refractor from Update getting a 10. Colin Sexton, who I absolutely like. I think this kid's a stud. He doesn't get enough respect in the hobby, in the hobby world. So this is a one of one that got a 10. So that's pretty freaking sweet. Look at that. Not a big fan of uh, Panini status. It is a cheaper product, or at least it used to be a cheap product. I remember getting them for like $34 a box and doing like $1.10 breaks in the group. Um, I think that product now skyrocketed up to, I want to say like 200 bucks. <laughs> 2013 Panini Hoops Giannis Greek Freak Gold 9. Labor Torres, pinstripe 9. Torres with the pinstripe 9. Pinstripe Torres 9. Pinstripe Torres 9. 
Pinstripe Torres, 9. And finally, Pinstripe Torres, 10. Sweet! I gotta get myself. I got a couple of them. Not too many. And then we're gonna be on the last box, guys. Boys and girls. Children of all ages. So if you haven't yet, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So like that, you guys know when this fool goes on to show a PSA submission. And I don't have to keep tagging you guys. Or when Dan decides, hey, let's bust product on YouTube. And he does a video here on the tube. He gets lazy sometimes, so he just does them on the Facebook group. Which, if you aren't part of our community, our little Facebook group, it's called Card Cave Central. Hashtag join the cave. Anyway, last stack, here we go. Luca from Chronicles 10. I will tag you all the time, Ken. Luca Chronicles 9. Panini status, Luca getting a 10. Once again, same card. This is not the same card. That's so weird. Okay, so this is numbered and has a little red here. So this is called 2018 Panini status, Luka Doncic. And that got a 10. And then we have this one. 2018 Panini status, Luka Doncic status. So that's what this card is called, I'm assuming. So pretty cool. Got a 10. These Lukas did really well. 2018 Panini threads, Luka 10. Then we got an Austin Riley getting a 9 batting from 2019 Tops Update. Brendan Rogers getting a 9 from Update 2019. Austin Riley once again, this one getting a 9, 2019 batting. Then we got a Ronald Acuna Jr. Holiday, Tops Holiday getting a 10. Got a John Morant, Don Ross, a 9. I don't know what's going on with this product. It's definitely a centering issue. They've been very tough. I've uh, submitted a lot of these. Um, Zions and so on and they all come back 8 to 9's so it definitely has to be a centering issue it's it's a paper card there's no chrome whatsoever so you're not going to see any scratches so definitely a, cent oh, definitely a centering issue so we got another Ronald Acuna Holiday getting a 10 whoopsie then we got a Will Smith Fresh Prince, Catching Gear, Catcher's Gear, getting a 10 rookie card from 2019 update. Same card, same result, 10. And this is the card that was in question. 2019 Don Ross, Zion Williamson, getting a 9. The centering east to west does look a little off, I must say. So I think maybe that's just how the print runs, and there's a few that come back 10s. I mean, I've seen them come back 10s, but for the most part, 999. So this is a card that, um, you know, there's a lot of collectors, Ricky Henderson collectors out there. And this one, I believe, is Tim's. So in 1991, he was very happy that he got a 9. 1991, Topps pre-production, Ricky Henderson sample hand cut nine. So that's pretty sweet. Whoa. That's a pretty cool card. You don't see that every day. So this is one of those pre production samples. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these cards came either in packs. And they were just a sample of something that, like, a newer product that was coming out from Tops, Or they were in the middle of, like, it wasn't Beckett. There was another grading magazine. Was it called Tough Stuff? One of you guys might remember. I, I want to say it was called Something Stuff or Tough, Tough Stuff. Was it Tough Stuff? Believe it or not, I might actually still have one of those old magazines here. And they used to throw cards in there, samples. 
because um, they would come in like these plastic bags and then you would rip the bag out, take the magazine out, and they had a few loose cards in there. So I remember going to the magazine store and just ripping them open and just taking all the cards. But that's when I used to be uh, a felon. So that might be from something along those lines, like a magazine type promo or something. 2018 Panini Chronicles Luca 9. Same card. This one got a 10. And we have another one of these status cards coming back at a 10. Very good. This one coming back a 9. Not so good, but not bad. And then finally, you got the Threads Luca Dontrick. This is Dazzle, though. Oh, no, maybe it's not. Thought they would have. Maybe the one that just has the dazzling on the back is called Dazzle. Not sure, but this one gets a 10. It was tough stuff, right? Centering on 2019, Don Ross is a problem. Tried to sneak some in every time. Everything else seems flawless to me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's strange. I've sent so many in. Excuse me as I'm scratching my leg. I got bit by a bug mosquito hold on one second guys i mean if you want we're done with the cards but give me one minute Ugh. all right so i don't have any tough stuff i might still have it at my parents house <coughs> most of you guys know i've moved here about a year and a half ago and I still have a lot of stuff in um, my parents' house. So, I still have old magazines from back in the day. Like, check this out. And I've never done anything with them. I haven't... Oh, see? This is a perfect example right here. Oh, I thought it was there. So, this is an old Beckett magazine. This is from February. Oh, yeah, they hate me. Every day, I get reminded, when are you going to pick up your cards? I have a garage full of baseball cards and magazines. Like, every single Beckett magazine that's ever, ever been produced. It's ridiculous. So, this is a Beckett magazine from 1992. So, the funny thing is, let me just put this on an angle so you guys could see I remember they used to come with cards and they're all in pretty flawless shape that just probably got bent now uh, does anybody let's let's play a little game who could guess what a Michael Jordan rookie card was going for in 1992 See who's the closest person to it. I remember that. Ugh, such ugly cards. Skybox. I mean, no, that was Hoops. Skybox was here. Look at that. That was such an ugly design. So let's see what a Jordan card would sell for back in 92. So we got the 86 Fleer set right here. The Charles Barkley was selling for $42. Oh, Lord. 450 250 Ugh, I remember in 95 or 96, it was an $800 card. $3,500, let us see. So the sticker was selling for $32. That sticker. Say 120 I, I guess, yeah, it's around there. Let's see. Where is it? Sam Bowie, rookie. Where the hell's Jordan? Jordan. There you go. 57 Jordan. $320. That's the low price. High price was 400 So Can you believe that? That's insane. Insane. God, I would buy 30 of them right now. Uh, I don't even know where this card 
came from. Oh, actually, this one's here. And then, I have so many stuff. I got a Topps magazine. This is from Winter 91. And it still has everything in here. These are, look, these are the hand cut cards that you just pop out. Like, similar to like the Sports Illustrated for kids. Then it had this little Family Ties game. It would have a checklist of this is looks like 91 tops. You would pull that out and check everything off. That was a cool thing to do. Pretty cool. Uh, I got two more magazines. Let's see what else do we got. Well, this isn't really a magazine. This is football sticker book. And I think I have boxes, unopened boxes of stickers somewhere. This is 90 football from Panini America. 99 cents. And then you would collect all the stickers. It had a big poster. And you would just put them all in the book. And then finally, we have a Topps magazine. And I got so many more. I'm going to bring them next time. Uh... This is Winter 92 edition of Tops. Same thing, you got your checklist, a few articles. You guys just gave me a good idea. I'm going to rip these out and I'm going to see if these are gradable. Cuz not a lot of people have to like I doubt people have these things still. So we'll see. I'm going to look that up and uh, see if we could grade these. I'm going to go through all my magazines. You never know. Maybe I might have a gold mine here somewhere. So pretty sweet. Reminiscing. Uh, World Champs Twins. What? What? The Twins were actually a good team back then. I remember that. Roger Clemens as a Red Sox. Joining the Mets in this comic? Oh, Lord. So, yeah. There you have it, boys and girls. A whole bunch of junk that I have laying around. Um, I got. I definitely have to get the other magazines. There's some epic ones. I have, like, the Bo Jackson one. Um, so many. It's freaking count. I wish I kept my wrestling magazines. I had every single wrestling magazine known to man. That was my, my big thing back in the day. So that's all she wrote. I don't have any more cards to show you. So um, with that being said, thanks for keeping me company. As always, chatting it up. It's always fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am going to be printing out the next order, the one that just popped up. And uh, I'll post it. Give me like an hour or two, Joey, and I'll post it. I, I need to. I need to nap. I need to rest. The wife beat me up today. So um, I'll talk to you guys later. You have a nice evening as well, devs. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out.